Today, I am going to tell you something that you will never see anywhere else. Earth-shattering things often happen in ordinary days. December 7, 1941, was just an ordinary Sunday for Americans at the time. But since that day, the pattern of the world has undergone earth-shaking changes, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, and the United States was immediately involved in World War II, which led to the establishment of the United Nations and the subsequent Cold War. Tracing back to the origin of today's world pattern, the sweltering weekend on Oahu, Hawaii was an unavoidable time node. Perhaps many years later, when people start to talk about the history of China's technological development, they may not be able to avoid March 7, 2023. At about 4 p.m. on March 7, 2023, Xinhua News Agency reported a news, China will re-establish the Ministry of Science and Technology. Okay, you must be confused, why is this matter so important? Combined with the current international situation, you will know the answer. The original timetable for China's scientific and technological development is still too conservative. Obviously, China will press the accelerator button on the breakthrough process of key science and technology. In my opinion, China's re-establishment of the Ministry of Science and Technology may mean that China is starting to take the development of science and technology seriously, and may even start a unique skill of a new nationwide system as a must-have. If all goes well, perhaps in the next few years, we will be lucky to see a blowout Chinese technology explosion. Okay, now, I am going to talk about my understanding of China's reorganization of the Ministry of Science and Technology. Looking at the original news from Xinhua News Agency, the number one item is, improving a new system for mobilizing the nation to make technological breakthroughs. There are rules for this kind of official news. If this thing is not important, it will not be put at the top. In other words, the reorganization of the Ministry of Science and Technology is an external form of organization, and the first thing to be done by the new version of the Ministry of Science and Technology is to promote the improvement of a new nationwide system. So, what is the national system? This time the reorganization of the Ministry of Science and Technology, the point worthy of attention lies in the new nationwide system. The greatest success of China's whole nation system is the two bombs and one satellite and nuclear submarines. By the way, two bombs refers to the atomic bomb and later the hydrogen bomb and the intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, while one satellite refers to the artificial satellite. What everyone remembers are those scientists who devoted themselves to the two bombs and one satellite and nuclear submarines. But what is often overlooked is the engineering commander behind the two bombs and one satellite. The Central Special Committee, established on November 17, 1962, was the key factor behind its success. The whole nation system, in our general impression, actually reflects the very extreme mobilization of national resources. The real charm of the whole nation system lies in the front end, that is, who, how, and for what purpose mobilize resources. Here, the Central Special Committee is the person responsible for mobilizing resources. Let's take a look at the lineup of the Central Special Committee in 1962. Premier Zhu Enlai served concurrently as the director, and other members included He Long, Nai Rongzhen, and other seven vice premiers and seven ministerial cadres. The strength of this lineup cannot be underestimated. How did they mobilize resources? One word, order. Mr. Qian Shuesen once said, at that time, the decision of the Central Committee, which unit should do what, was unquestionable. They didn't need to say why, it was an order. You could only do it. At the same time, any resources we need for scientific research can be delivered to our research institute on the same day as they order. The purpose of the Central Special Committee to mobilize resources is to speed up the research and development of a series of cutting-edge scientific and technological projects such as atomic bombs, hydrogen bombs, nuclear submarines, missiles, artificial satellites, and nuclear power plants. This transcendent power is called the whole nation system. In fact, the nationwide system is not a Chinese patent. Do you think Americans do not rely on their national system? When the United States was researching nuclear weapons, it first followed the model of scientists' free exploration. However, time waits for no man. 
Although scientists are full of exploration spirit, scientists are not engineers, and they are not good at transforming technology into practical results as soon as possible. Moreover, the atomic bomb is a systematic project. If research is carried out only by independent scientists' laboratories, resources cannot be used effectively in many cases. The result is that countless American scientists and laboratories have spent a long time researching atomic weapons, but in the end everything is just the theory and technology in the laboratory, and no one has given a real goal. In fact, scientists have no way to give a real goal, the research of the atomic bomb not only needs scientists, but also large industrial enterprises to help produce various related materials and equipment. Only the country knows what kind of thing is needed. For example, what scientists know and are responsible for is that the main charge of the atomic bomb is uranium-235, which is obtained by separating it from uranium-238 with a special gas. But what scientists don't know, and don't need to worry about, is this. The process requires parts made of nickel to resist corrosion by specialty gases. If nickel is used to make these parts, the world's nickel ore production capacity for a year is not enough. In the end, it was the engineers of Chrysler Automobile Company who solved the problem there is also a need for corrosion resistance in the process of producing cars. The way the car factory solves this problem is nickel plating. Do Chrysler engineers know how to extract uranium-235? Of course they don't know. But the knowledge they contributed is a necessary part of refining uranium-235. If there is no special organization to organize these people to do things, what kind of coincidence is needed for scientists to know that these mature technologies of automobile companies can actually solve big problems? As a result, the Americans set up the Manhattan Project, granting this project the highest authority beyond other plans, relying on national administrative power, mobilizing national resources to implement the will of the country. Under the order of the U.S. military, the Metallurgical Laboratory of the University of Chicago designed the first human nuclear reactor. In order to speed up the research progress, under the urging of the army, American scientists took out computers. It was the joint efforts of scientists, government departments, and industrial enterprises that made a loud bang in the Los Amos desert. Therefore, we will find that the Central Special Committee is also an organization with clear goals. When doing things, the Central Special Committee usually clearly sets tasks and completion deadlines, and then assigns these tasks to the specific units below and at the same time helps each unit to coordinate across systems and departments. It is precisely because of such an institution with clear goals and high authority, that it is possible to integrate resources across the country to complete scientific and technological breakthroughs. In fact, whether it is the two bombs and one satellite or the Manhattan Project, the big problems encountered in the middle are engineering problems rather than scientific problems. Although both scientists and enterprises have strong strengths in scientific research, they also have their own shortcomings. Scientists do not consider practical applications, and enterprises do not consider things that do not make money. Faced with national-level major projects such as two bombs and one satellite and Manhattan Project, scientists often understand technology but do not know how to transform technology into products, and companies often think that this is not profitable. Therefore, the national system is a task system that integrates national resources to solve major engineering problems. It is a method and a strategy that countries with any social system will adopt. In general, behind the reorganization of the Ministry of Science and Technology, China is improving its scientific and technological capabilities. Well, thanks for your watching, and please be free to put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that are worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.